Hey, so I want to give you a quick demo of a Drop Zone 4 action that I've been using really often. Uh, so what this action does is it's used for reducing the file size of images. And uh, the action is called Tinyfy, and I'll just give you a quick demo. So uh, you want to open the Drop Zone grid and click plus in the top left uh, to add this action. And if you choose more actions from the bottom here, and then uh, from this list, uh, just click install on the Tinyfy action. And just click allow um, to install it. And Drop Zone will add this action. And then it's going to come up with this uh, dialog which asks you for an API key. Uh, so you, the Tinyfy service um, is a website, tinypng.com. And you can go to their website and they'll let you create your own API key. So just click on this link here and then you can just fill in your name and your email address and then they'll send you a link which will log you into this dashboard here. And then um, there's an API key here and you can just copy and paste this um, into that field in drop zone. And then if you just click add, and then uh, I have two images here that I'm going to test this with. So you just want to take the image and then drag it onto Drop Zone and then onto the Tinyfy action. And then it's going to send that image up to Tinyfy. And then like if we have a look at the file sizes here, you'll see that the original image was 422 kilobytes and the new image is 78 kilobytes. So um, definitely reduce the size a lot. Um, and the images look pretty much exactly the same. I mean, the compression is really good in that sense. So um, I have another image here, which we're gonna test it with as well. Uh, this image is 1.3 meg, and I'm just gonna put that um, into the action as well. And then let's have a look at this um, file size before and after for comparison. Uh, so the original size is 1.3 meg and after we run it through Tinyfy we've reduced it to 274 kilobytes. Um, and you know the images they look pretty much identical, you can't tell the difference. So yeah that's pretty handy um, if you want to upload them to your website um, or something like that then that's going to be a big saving in terms of load time. So yeah I've been using that uh, really often myself and it's just a really handy action so highly recommend installing that and giving it a go.